Okay, guys, open up to page 106. It should be about capital resources. 106 in your hardcover. So while you, while you guys are turning to capital resources, what are the other two resources that we've been talking about? Isabel, name one of them. Name one of the resources. No, don't look b back. The other one, Brayden, what was the other one? Wood was an example of it. What what is it, Kaiden? Natural a natural resource, right? So we've talked about natural resources. We've talked about human resources. Now we're going to talk about capital resources. Now this isn't the type of capital that, like when we talk about capital letters, we're not talk. It's not. That's not what it means. Um, the term capital resources is kind of confusing to understand for you guys right now, so just believe it's a capital resource and don't question why it's called a capital resource. But um, let's just read. Let's open up with reading. So who wants to read under using tools, that first paragraph? Grace, can you read that first paragraph? Talented. Talented human resources. When you put the two together, you get capital resources. Okay, so hold up. So in math, when we put two numbers together, what are we doing? Adding. Adding, right? So it says right here. We're going to put N for natural. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Oh. Right, let's do that. Natural resource. It says natural resources and human resources. So plus human resources equals capital resources, right? <laughs> So when humans, a human resource, like a miner, tries to collect a, cap, a natural resource like metal, they can make capital resources. Now we're gonna learn what a capital resource and that will make a little bit more sense. But just keep remembering, a natural resource collected by a human resource equals a tool or something that we use, right? Okay, who wants to read the next paragraph? Michaela. Humans have used tools since the first half. Cave. Cave. Delaware. Realize they could attach a walk to a stick with a knife and use it to clobber something really specific. Hold on. Okay. So it talks about it talks about our uh, cave dwellers. So like cavemen, right? You guys have seen the cartoon cavemen, right? I'm gonna look that up. Cartoon caveman with tool. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's something there that doesn't really show up well. Okay. Uh, can I get a bigger picture of that? Let's see if I can get a bigger picture of this. No. Can everybody kind of see that? Landon, can you see that? Yeah. So you see, this is what they're talking about. That's wood, that's a rock, and it's a vine. Those are all natural resources, right? What's up, Grace? What? It's okay. 
Stick, rock, vine, makes tool. Are those all natural resources? No. Did a human make that? Yeah. A caveman is still a human, yes. So a human made that, right? It doesn't just come naturally like that. You won't find that out in the middle of the woods. Somebody would have to make it, right? Mm -hmm. So they took the natural resources that they had, and the human resource, the person who could make tools, built a capital resource. Okay. And that's just a good example of natural resource plus human resource equals capital resource. Okay. Keep going, Michaela. So, scissors are a capital resource. Can barbers just cut with their fingers? Would that be weird if somebody just came up to your hair and went like that and tried to cut your hair? It wouldn't work, right? Yeah, they're round. It's not sharp. So, what are scissors made of? Metal. Metal and what? Wood. Plastic. Plastic. I'm not sure if you could find scissors with a wood handle, but it's possible. Hey, what about, um, not these, well, scissors, there's big, big metal things, and it has metal on it, but it's like, yeah. so, but that's what it's called, Yeah, so, somebody, somebody at the scissor factory, let's say there's a scissor factory, they, make scissors all day. They know how to do that. They're, they're the human resource that, that's working on it. They took metal and plastic, put it together, and now you have scissors. Now you can cut stuff out. Yes, Michaela? Aren't these like basically knives? Uh, kind of, so put them away. Um, so, what is a factory then? Isabel, what's a factory? But what type of resource is it? Because is a cat is a factory a human? No, a capital. It's a capital resource because there it's a tool that people use to build build stuff, right? It's still a, it's still a tool. It's just a building. It's the place where the stuff is being made. They need that building to make it, right? Okay. So the definition that they give us in the book for capital resource is goods that are made by people and used to produce other goods and, re, uh, and services. So factory buildings are where human, source, human resources use natural resources to make products and provide services. Okay? So a factory is a cap, uh, capital resource because that's where our goods and services are made. Uh, made. Remember when we talked about that yesterday? Was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was yesterday. Where where I had you guys do the chart of goods and services. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So goods are things that are made, and then services are people that do the. People will do the services. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Brayden. Um, the hammer that has that rock. To go yes. Did they actually work as a hammer? It, I guess so. I'm not sure. Um, so think of a painter, like an artist. Not, not the painter who goes to your house and paints the side of your house. What's a capital resource that they use? An artist. Landon. Paint is a capital resource that they use because paint is a mix of ink and water, right? Those are two natural resources that we can find somewhere. Paint's a capital resource because a human had to make that paint to mix it. But what's another one, Michaela? The 
the canvas because somebody had to take the take that canvas um, put it on the wood blocks that are around it because the canvas has wood behind it and it's uh, I guess some of it is sheepskin some of it is like paper uh, Lo uh, Logan what's another one a capital resource that a paint uh, an artist uses a paintbrush, great. Now, paintbrushes haven't always been wooden handles and fake fake hair at the end, right? Because it's not real hair, right? But back when we didn't have fake hair and we didn't have ways to make wood really, really thin and round, people would use animal bones and hair of like deer or animals to make paintbrushes. Those are two natural resources still, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Grace? You need to speak louder. What? Okay. Brayden, what's up? Um, one of the part of the office sign is human. It's kind of like it so, so you're now talking about, hold on, Brayden. A capital resource is a tool that's being used. Is, it, is a human being a tool used to make paintings? No. No, they're a human resource. We have human resources. So that's the category that they fall under. Hold on, guys. So... We're going to learn the difference between a capital resource that produces goods and one that produces services, okay? okay. So who wants to read the next paragraph? Grace, you've already read. Michaela's already read. Put your hand down, Grace. Uh, Logan. Under let's produce goods. <coughs> Okay, so we, we're talking about lawnmowers here, right? There's a lawnmower factory. Imagine there's a big lawnmower factory. They're taking what natural resources and building them? Isabel, what's the two natural resources that they're using to build? Yeah, steel and rubber, right. So you're taking the natural resources. Are there humans working at that factory? Humans are taking the natural resources. And what are they making? Lawnmowers. Lawnmowers. Do lawnmowers work by themselves and provide a service? No. No, a human has to do it, right? Yes. Can you buy a lawnmower in a store? Yes. So it's a good, right? It's a good. Other goods are being used in this process, we talk about trucks that are delivering mm -hmm. the lawnmower. So is the truck a capital resource? Or is it a natural resource or a human resource? Which one? Human? No, capital It's a capital resource, right? Because they're taking, the human is driving the truck. And capital resources are the tools that people use. And then the last one they talk about is computers. Can you, is a computer a natural resource? No. No. Did somebody have to make a computer? Yes. Yeah. Somebody has to build a computer. Is a computer a tool that, we, that humans use to help people? Yes. So it's a capital resource. Okay. 
So we have three different capital resources that are going into one job, <coughs> delivering lawnmowers and selling them. What's up, Brayden? Um, computers just made out of something that is a natural resource. What's that? The metal. The metal is a natural resource, you're right. And the truck is made out of metal too. So, we see how it's used to make goods. We see how capital resources are used to make goods and get goods to the buyers, okay? Goods are things that you buy. Now we need to see how it helps perform services. What's up, Isabel? Yeah, you can, didn't you just read? No, who, oh, you, yeah, you can read. Under let's perform services, everybody keep finger following. Achieve. Okay, pause. It gives us another addition thing. The sentence says, when we link, and when things are linked, they're put together, right? When we link our natural resources, so natural resources, and then it says, when we link our natural resources together with our human resources, and what else? What is Capital. Capital resources, it equals achieve great things. What are we talking about in this paragraph, though? Computer. No, what are we talking about in this, in this, what are they providing? Services. Services. So a service is when a natural resource is combined with a human resource and a capital resource. <coughs> so if you, somebody is delivering mulch to your house, is that are they providing you a service? Well, I'll ask this: Are you buying are you buying the mulch directly from them, or are they just deliver? Or how about this: a pizza? Your natural resource is the bread that they use in the tomatoes and the cheese, right? If you get your pizza delivered, are you buying it from the pizza delivery man or are you buying it from the store that makes it? The store that makes it. The delivery man is just delivering the pizza. That's a service. So we have our pizza delivery man who's using his car or a bike if you're in the city. So human resource, delivery guy, with his car, is del delivering a natural resource, which means the, the pizza, the, the dough, the cheese and tomato. He's providing you a service, right? Yeah, he's delivering your food to you. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's figure out like the equation for goods, I guess. What can we say about goods? What are good, what's the addition problem for goods then? If there's one for services, there's gotta be one for goods, right? What's up? Human and natural? It can be. It's the same one. It's the same thing. You've got to think about it a different way. If I'm giving you a good, I'm selling you something, right? So it's a human making something out of natural materials, right? They're probably using tools to make that. 
and then they're selling it to you. So the only difference between a good and a service is something is being sold. Okay? Who wants to finish that last paragraph? Grace, you've read. Sophie, can you read loudly? Go for it. You're at sync. Okay. Uh, Brayden, you're at sync of a job. Think of a job you might like to have. Someday, what natural resource would you depend on to make it? Happen when what capital resource resource would you need? Great job. So I'm gonna write down a a job, okay, that some of you might <coughs> might want to have. Um a lot of kids like to wanna a lot of kids want to be a firefighter, okay? Did any of you want to be a firefighter when you grew up? Not me. I want to. You want to, Landon? Yes. So the book asks us, what natural resources would you need? So what natural resource does a firefighter use? Water, right? Now, the water hose, can you find a water hose in the ground? Oh, no. No, but you can find water, right? So, I think that's one of the only natural resources that a firefighter actually comes in contact with and uses. But... They have a lot of capital resources, right? Yeah, fire trucks. So, so we have one natural. That's all our natural resources. Okay, let's make a list of all the capital resources that firefighters use. I'm going to actually erase the natural so that we have a lot of room because we don't have... So, Michaela, you start. Fire truck. Fire truck. Grace. What? Siren? Yeah. Brayden. Fire extinguisher, that's a good one. I like that. It's a long word. Uh, we're gonna go around. Emma, what's another one? What's another tool they use? Yeah, the hose. The water, which is the natural resource that they're using, is a way that it is used, is sprayed by using a hose. Isabel, what's another resource that they use? A capital resource. It's a tool. Helmet? Yeah. Helmet. Sophie, what's another one? Another capital resource. Tool.
Want to say something? A ladder! That's a great one. Uh, Logan, your turn. Capital resource that a firefighter uses. There, there's, you gotta think of more. We, we are missing a lot of them. But I, I'm going in order around the room. I want everybody to give me one, and all of you have already given me one. You want, you want us to come back to you? Mm -hmm. Keep thinking about it. Kaiden. Fire hydrant? What? Fire hydrant, absolutely. Okay, look, Landon. An axe. An axe. That's the one I was waiting for people to say. Look at all these capital resources that you guys came up with. Logan, do you have, do you have another one? No. What about their oxygen mask or tank? Oh yeah. What about their their whole outfit, not just their helmet? What about their boots? Their boots. So, I even forgot about a natural resource that that firefighters use. A natural resource. Grace, do you know what the natural resource is? What's the capital resource that you were gonna say? I was gonna say fire alarm. Fire alarm? Yeah, they use fire alarms. What's the natural resource? Tied in. No, I we're not talking about tools right now. So like what natural resource do they use as its natural resource? There's one one thing. Brayden. You know how there's the fire truck? <laughs> okay. The only fire truck that's metal. Yeah, but we're not. But that—that's what the the fire truck is a capital resource. I I want you to name a natural resource that they use the as they found it. No, <gasps> somebody somebody had to make the metal. Isabel, I'm letting you guys flounder right now. Yeah, your brains are working. I can tell. <laughs> Okay. What about, what about they don't use these anymore? But what about a dog? I said dog. You didn't say dog. Ooh, it's a fire dog, not just a dog. It's a fire dog. You mean a Dalmatian? What? They 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 don't use they don't use them anymore, but they used to, right? Are dogs a natural resource? Uh, for say, just like how police police dogs are used to yeah, like sometimes sniff. save, like save sometimes save people. That they they would they would go in, they'd be able to go into smaller areas and save people. So we have the natural resources, the water and the dogs. The human resource is the, the firefighter himself, right? Yeah. And then he's got all of these capital resources. And what is he do, doing? Providing a service or get, uh, making a good? A service. A service, because he's not making anything. He's just helping people out. Does that make sense how all of these are connected? Yeah. And they all help you perform one task? So, what time is it? Let's see. Do you want to do one more of these with a different job? No! no. Yes! 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 Oh my goodness. Yes! 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 Yes!
Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love a doctor too. I like a doctor too. A doctor. Okay, raise your hand for doctor. Okay. Doctor. Okay. So let's start. What's the human resource? The doctor. The doctor. Good job. Now, what's a na- this is gonna be a little harder, but what's a natural resource that doctors use? And not, not stuff that's found in their tools. <laughs> What's a natural resource that they use? Brayden. Shirts? The gowns that they put on people? No, because somebody had to make that. That's... that's uh, I don't Air? <laughs> yeah, you're right. No. Oxygen. Yeah. Like, when they give you... When they put... Oxygen, yeah. And what are we so, so we got natural. Uh, and capital. Capital resources. So we have oxygen. Oxygen and de- uh, carbon dioxide. You don't give anybody carbon dioxide. <laughs> they breathe it out. What's another natural resource that a doctor might use? Oh. Uh, Kaiden. Water. What else? Grace. I'm going to go with food. Well, people make food. Food's not a natural resource. No, hold on. We're not moving on to capital yet. Natural. Shh. Guys. Brayden. No, that's a capital resource. Guys, what about blood? I was saying that. I didn't say that. Blood. I was going to say blood, but I thought it was not. But blood is coming from a person's body. But is blood natural? Yes. Yeah. I thought that's a human resource. No, it's not. It's not a human resource, though. It's a natural resource. Because it not only... These animals have blood, people right? Are yeah, people are human resources, but not but animals, blood's not a person. Animals, blood, no, human right? So, what are the capital resources? What are the capital resources that they use? We're going to go around the room again, starting with La- Landon and snaking around all the way to Grace. Landon, what's a capital resource that a doctor uses? What? <laughs> oh, no. Name a tool. I kind of don't know, Dr. Stan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ethan, you don't know the name. Yeah. Guys. You guys can put your hand down because I'm going to call on everybody. Yeah. Kaiden. No, no, we're doing doctors now and we're doing capital resources. Uh, Yeah. A stethoscope? Yeah. I was going to say telescope. I think that's how you spell stethoscope. Probably not. Logan. You guys, 
we're all for going for a doctor, but I'm you guys are struggling to give me capital resources here. Shot. Say that again, Grace. Shot. A shot. <laughs> right? Needle. A needle. Like a like a so they're called a syringe. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. Logan, uh, Landon. Medicine? Medicine, yeah. Ooh. Sophie. Whoa. Yeah, the light that they use to check your eyes. Like a little flashlight. Um, uh, Isabel. Yeah. Oh, oh, mom said. Yeah. I said Uh, Emma. X ray. An X ray machine. Braden, your turn. All the tools I need. Give me a specific tool. We're giving specific tools. One that we haven't said yet. Wait, say that again? The ambulance. Oh, an ambulance. Yeah, okay. An ambulance, yep. Michaela. Uh, Grace, then we're coming back to you. Bandages. Yeah, band aids. Now it's my turn. What about the thing that they hit your knee with? The oh, little, the little ma rubber mallet that they hit your knee with to check yeah. the reflexes? <laughs> what about a mask? Or their, mask or their clothes? Their scrubs? What about, what about a pen? They yeah, they take notes. What? What about a thermometer? <laughs> what do, hey, what about a scale when they weigh you? So, there's a, a lot of cap, hold on, Grace. There's a lot of capital resources that these, these people are using, especially people who are using, who are providing a service. Landon, did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? No, you were talking. People who provide services, human resources that provide services have a lot of capital resources that they use. They're not using as many natural resources, right? But people who are providing a, some goods are using the natural resources and they're making it into capital resources. Does that make sense? So if you're, if, if you're a person who provides a good, like a lumberjack, you're going to be using wood all the time. They use more natural resources. People who provide services use more capital resources, okay? So that's the difference when, when you're, you're thinking about goods and services in relation to everything else, okay? Last question, Grace, and then we're going to move on. Emergency room. Okay, an emergency room. You're right. A hospital is a capital resource. Okay, so I want you guys to close your books. Miss Manus, I think, wants to play bingo with you guys. Yay. So. Oh.